you too. Today we take a look at the Samsung S23 Ultra versus the innovative Galaxy Z Fold 4. Soon to be the Z Fold 5 in a few months, but we'll talk about that later on. Let's look at these two because basically this is the now in the S23 Ultra versus the future in the Z Fold 4. Or is it even the future? Can this become the normal phone that everyone's willing to carry on a daily basis? A foldable tablet that you put into your pocket? Let me know down in the comment section below, but let's get into this versus right off the bat. Let's get into the design and build quality. Now, when it comes to build quality, these both are built by Samsung in that flagship arena, you know, frosted glass backs, almost identical, the aluminum siding and the beautiful AMOLED Samsung displays that we all know and love as you guys can see so nothing short of what we expect in build quality between these two but there are differences when it comes to design there's obviously the innovative design of the z fold 4 with dual displays basically that tablet size inner display that folds down into a smartphone sizing but that comes at a cost of thickness and weight when it comes to weight you have 234 grams on the s23 ultra versus the 263 grams of the z fold 4. now in my hand side by side left to right yeah i noticed the difference but i think from an everyday user it's not that big of a deal but the difference is when you put this in your pocket the z fold 4 in comparison to the s23 ultra this is more familiar this is something else going on this is the productivity hog but this is the style phone that everyone's used to this is the glass sandwich the phone slab this is what's tried and true. This is new and innovative. This is what I believe Samsung is trying to get their Note users to transition to. This is cutting edge, this is the future. But for many users, and I think for the users that do appreciate what this device is, it's worth the extra bulk. Now there's another huge difference between these two. On the tried and true, we have IP68, which means we have dust and water resistance versus the ipx8 on the z fold 4 which only has water resistance so dust is still an enemy to this device and that's what brings up the question of durability for the long haul when it comes to these foldable devices it's not as locked sealed tried and true as the glass sandwich it's just as simple as that but it's emerging and it's getting better and better year after year another thing is both of these devices are s pen capable the big difference is the S23 Ultra, you got it with you at all times in a convenient storage place. With the Z Fold 4, you either have to get a bulky, not my favorite style case in order to carry the stylus as well as the stylus is a lot thicker. So again, in the area of design, you have tried and true versus innovation. You have a bit more to handle versus what we're used to. Like honestly, the only thing that I can say separates these two design wise in one way more than the other is just the innovation that's packed into the z fold 4 but if you strip that they're both equally beautiful in build quality and design with that being said let's get into the beautiful side of samsung and that's in the display arena now as you guys can see both of these displays are amoled goodness but here's the thing you get two of those amoled displays with the z fold 4 gotta love that this larger display on the interior display is a clutch feature for a lot of people so the biggest separation in between these two is the fact that you get two displays versus one with the s23 ultra and although the s23 ultra has a higher nits of peak brightness at 1750 versus the 1200 on the z fold 4 when i took them outside and put them side by side in a, like a direct sunlight type of situation they're both still visible but obviously one has the edge now when it comes to display brightness it's different stats for the both of them but in real world usage out here in a situation where you need the full brightness on and you need to be able to see your display i can see both displays equally so in many situations having dual displays will outweigh having one single display but in other situations having one single display the convenience of this outweighs the dual displays of the z fold 4 so it's really personal preference but being able to have two versus one is a plus for many but also being able to have the one that we're all used to is the norm for everyone okay next topic of discussion is going to be platform both of these devices are capable of running android 13 
with One UI 5.1. Literally, you can put One UI 5.1 on your Z Fold 4 running with Android 13 and have a similar experience, except the simple fact that these have different microprocessing chips. You have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 which has been optimized to perfection almost on the S23 Ultra versus the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. It was a slightly enhanced chip versus the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 that was on the S22 Ultra. But this year on the S23 Ultra, the optimization with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is breaking barriers on the Samsung platform that we haven't seen before. And the plus side to that is in the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5, we're probably, hopefully, going to see a similar, hopefully. Again, this is just what one can speculate. What they've done with the S23 Ultra shows that the future is bright with the Z Fold 5 and future Samsung devices. But with that being said, we got to compare them in their current state. And the difference in platforms, although it's not software, it's definitely hardware and you're going to see better battery life, better optimization and a better platform with the S23 Ultra. It's all personal preference, but the Z Fold 4 for what it offers and what it's capable of doing and the fact that it has dual displays and so forth. You got to take that into account. It's not like the typical design pulling on the battery and so forth. But again, it basically comes down to this. The optimized versus the not so optimized. The stronger, faster GPU with the Adreno 740 versus the Adreno 730. As far as platform goes from an everyday user experience, I think it's gonna feel almost close, but when we get into the next category, this is one of the biggest separating factors. And that category is battery life. There's no comparison between the two when it comes to battery life. The king, the champ is the S23 Ultra. The battery life, the optimization that this device in its current platform and its current structure is just crushing every other Samsung device flagship wise of now and the past. This right here is breaking the mold. So if you're looking for battery life, the Z Fold 4, while it's decent and it's fair for many, it's not enough for most and the S23 Ultra, I feel, is probably going to cover the majority of you when it comes to battery life. So if you're looking for a battery life king, the S23 Ultra, hands down. As much as I want to say, hey, it, it could be close, it could be similar, that's no longer the case. And this leads us to another category between the two, and that's going to be cameras. Now, this is a huge separating factor, possibly. And the best way to find out is to go outside right now, snap some photos and some videos side by side, and have you guys hit the comment section down below and let me know which one is honestly, wholeheartedly looking the best. All right, so now we're on the front facing camera of both of these devices. Both in 4K, 30 frames per second. I got the beautiful Z Fold 4 right here in my right hand. And then I have the brand new, ever so swaggy S23 Ultra here in my left hand. So at first glance, it seems like the focal length is different between the two. But looking at the screens, um, I don't know how much of a difference we're actually going to see in between these two. I will say this. It seems to have a little more contrast on the Z Fold 4 and skin tones, but I'm not going to judge this camera off of what I see on the display. You guys are going to judge this camera off of what you see on the screen because that's what really matters. That's the footage that gets exported. So front facing camera, 4K, 30 frames per second, Z Fold 4, <laughs> S23 Ultra. Which one is looking better, player? All right, rear camera, the rear wide main angle camera, which is the camera the majority of you are going to use 90% of the time. This is the camera This is going to give you typically the best quality out of what each of these smartphones have to offer. The S23 Ultra with that mega, you know what, 200 and some odd megapixels, maybe 50 or whatever. Whatever is using and it's binding beautiful wonderness, this is what you see. Both of these cameras are in auto mode. So we have the Z Fold 4 and it's conservative 
camera housing, wide angle, which I want to become ultra <laughs> wide angle lenses. But nevertheless, these two devices, two different processing, two different chips, two different systems, two different cameras, two different results. You guys let me know down in the description below which one you think is better. Now, some of you might be in between these devices or maybe you're looking at this as a prerequisite to when the Z Fold 5 is possibly coming. Again, I just think the cameras for the Z Fold 5 need to be on the caliber of this in the S23 Ultra. Hopefully Samsung hears me, hopefully we get it. All right, so for the 3X camera test, we're gonna do the sneakers today because I put my camera inside. You know, I knew the rain was coming. I'm trying to hurry up and get these shots. But we got the UNC Jordan 1s, you know, but 3X, we got the S23 Ultra and the Z Fold 4. Let me know which one you think is looking better. They looking pretty similar. All right, so you guys saw the cameras head to head. You guys let me know. I won't see the results until I get into the editing process. But, you know, I got a hunch as to which one possibly might outdo the other. But we could be up for an upset. So let me know down in the comment section below which camera system or camera array that you find to be better. I will say this. I've been pushing Samsung to put this same S22 Ultra, S23 Ultra caliber of cameras on the Z Fold of the future or of the next so for the z fold 5 i would love for it to have the exact same camera setup as uh the s23 ultra because that's what this phone deserves in my honest wholehearted opinion again let me know down in the comment section down below which one is the better camera i think i got a feeling in my gut <laughs> on to the next and the most important topic between these two and that's user experience i don't care what has the best of this versus the best of that when it comes to the spec sheet you know s23 ultra is the latest and greatest you know it has the ufs 4.0 memory versus the ufs 3.1 but the, both memories are just like beyond and ahead of their category as far as speed goes so how could i pick one of over the other they're both going to perform extremely well there is a difference in the chips and the platform the gpu we have seen a huge leap in just overall feel and platform with the S23 Ultra this year. This is the phone that has every Samsung fan, every Android enthusiast just really, really feeling themselves right now. And rightfully so, because this is the first device with stellar battery, stellar optimization, a solid camera array with some caveats. I got to point that out, but it's just that's a Samsung thing and it comes under the samsung house but the collective of the s23 ultra is like that phone to beat in 2023 but the z fold 4 this user experience right here is a user experience of the future the innovative the forward thinker like if you're that type of person where you're into the tech of tomorrow this device by far is exactly that i got a full-on tablet that folds down into a smartphone that goes into my pocket again i don't know if it's for everyone i think it was more or less targeted at that hyper productive productivity hog type of user once a note user always a note user but now that note user has two options you got the s23 ultra which has the built-in s pen which is very much a note in the new platform versus like that futuristic note. It still doesn't have the built-in S Pen, but it does have S Pen support. It has that productivity like wheelhouse to be able to handle and do all of your productive needs. This is like the device that you run a business on effectively and efficiently. This is like the device that you, you know, handle your media consumption on effectively and efficiently in a big way it's just a totally different category and perspective of how to handle today's smartphones tech it's more of kind of a niche in this current state the foldable device has yet to cross over fully into the everyday user or the everyday pocket but this user experience by far is something that's like unmatched there's no other device on the market in the states I understand overseas and across the waters, there's a lot of 
competition being, you know, innovated. But here in the States, amongst the big three, which is, you know, Apple, Samsung and Google, which stay tuned for Google because there's some rumors. But until then, this is the device that really has no competitor. And that leads me to say this. If you want to experience the future and get a sneak peek of what might come tomorrow, well, then the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is that. But if you want what's tried and true and what's possibly, let's not say possibly, what is the Android experience to beat in 2023, then you might want to go S23 Ultra. Smash that like button. Smash the subscribe button. Hopefully you guys appreciated this versus. Coming up next, we got to put the S22 Ultra against the S23 Ultra as well as the Pixel. Let's get it.